Hey everybody, Rich here, South Florida Beekeeping with Rich. And today we're going to talk about lighting the smoker. I know I've done lots of videos on smoker fuels, but I've always just kind of left it to everybody to work out how you want to light your smoker yourself. Uh, but we have so many newbies in the club this year that need something like this that uh, I decided to go ahead and do yet another smoker lighting video. Everybody out there has one. And uh, there's many different ways to light your smoker. We're going to start with one of the standard ones. If you ever go for a master beekeeper certification, they're going to make, they're going to give you one match and make you light your smoker. And so you need to know the standard way of lighting a smoker. Uh, but to help me with that today, I'm going to bring in a buddy of mine named Gus. Hey, Gus, come on in. Hey, everybody. Did you bring him with you? Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he's my little tag-along lizard. <laughs> and he's not scared of anybody. Look, Look at this that. guy. Look at that. I don't know he, where he little... came from, but uh, we've got a co-host. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, at any rate... So uh, we're going to go through some of the more standard smoker fuels, and then we're going to light a smoker the standard way, and then we're going to light a smoker the real way, the cheating way. <laughs> Rich showed this way, and I was like, Rich, you need to make a video on this because nobody has put this out, and um, I'm excited to be part of this today. All right. So... Smoker fuels. The most common smoker fuel in the southern United States is probably pine straw. Followed up by those who are city dwellers, by people using uh, animal bedding from Walmart or whatever, just cedar chips. Now here in South Florida, one of our favorite smoker fuels is banana leaves. Uh, and the nice thing about banana leaves is that they're full of oil even when they're dry and crumbly and like this they're still flexible and they're still full of oils all right and no these banana leaves don't make the bees angry in fact banana leaves make one of the coolest densest smokes around why we favor them so much uh, you look down here here's a great way to when you harvest your banana leaves, some of them are going to be dry. Some of them are going to be on the yellow side. I slice them into pieces and I feed them into this piece of uh, chicken wire and just hang them up out of the rain somewhere. And in very short order, see, this was a completely, completely wet stem here just a week ago. And another week, this stem is going to be dry. Of course, all this stuff already is. You can go from there. This is all soft stuff, very flexible because it was only stuck in here last week. We're not using this stuff today. We're just uh, demonstrating. We're using the drier material that's here that's had a chance to dry. And since, again, this is South Florida, lemongrass grows wonderfully here. So here's some chopped up lemongrass. I want to touch on using wood stove pellets because you'll see a lot of videos out there of people who use wood stove pellets. Not a fan myself, and not too many people down here are fans. Makes too hot a fire. Uh, you want a cool smoke. These make, these aren't meant to smolder. These are meant to provide a flame. And so it's real easy to get yourself a little blowtorch going if you use too much of this material. This is only here because, well, I tried it one time, and you can see I. Didn't spend too much time on it because it's still mostly there. A really good material in your smoker is egg cartons. And you'll notice, yeah, look at this. Bunch of uh, banana leaves. Roll it up in here. And light the end of it, stick it in there. You've got a good uh, start of a smoker. You can pack that a whole lot more if you want. One of my favorite things to do is toilet paper rolls packed, in this case, with egg carton. In this case, 
with terry cloth, an old towel. You want to look in here. This is just the other day I needed to go into the bee yard for 20 minutes. And what did I do? I just grabbed one of my toilet paper rolls with banana leaves in it, lit the bottom of it, and threw it in there, along with a piece of punk wood that I lit. Tossed the two of them in there, puffed it up, smoked beautifully and thickly through the whole time I was out there, which was only about 15 minutes. Plug it all up, and back we go. I need to take those out of there because I need to demonstrate. But this is reality. You don't have to pack a smoker top to bottom every time you use it. If you're only going out for a few minutes, I really love using toilet paper rolls. Taking, some, taking something out of the landfill. And, put, and you know what? When I have too many toilet paper rolls, I'll even crush up toilet paper rolls and stuff them inside a toilet paper roll. It's just another way of using cardboard to light your smoker. But uh, toilet paper rolls do not go to waste around here. Okay? So, uh, enough said on that. Let's make a little room here. Because I don't intend on using this today. Just throw it back there. So, I'm going to demonstrate the standard way of lighting your smoker. Now, you know, if you were using a match, you would have to light the match here, light the end of this here. When it starts burning, you stuff it in there. And that would be step one. I never use a match. We usually, you know, but I'm going to, this is the closest I'll ever come to using a match probably. Because I'm not taking a test. And it's good to keep most of your back stock away from your smoker <laughs> or else you can catch it on fire. Yeah. And a lot of people say, you know, you can just, your plug. <laughs> <laughs> like I said. And that's not really taken there like that. A lot of people just say, you can put that first group in there, particularly if you have a lighter like this. And you should. And you should. At least a lighter like this. Now this isn't packed down or anything. We're just trying to get a good fire going here. Now, a lot of people, a lot of parts of the country, they would just pack in more uh, pine straw on top of that. But down here, first a little bit of loose leaf packed in banana leaf. See that thick, oily smoke? That's a beautiful thing. Pack a little bit more. Again, we're still loosely here. And you keep puffing until you see some flames come out the top. There we go. Okay. And now's the time to pack this puppy within an inch of its life. Have I really put it out? Not really. Okay. And that's the normal way that people pack a smoker and light it. And you puff, puff, puff. The most common issue that people have is they're in too big a hurry. And they uh, don't take the time to let these different layers of fuel come up to a flame before they pack the next layer in. And that will usually end up with some loose material down here. With the packed material up here, and when this loose material starts burning out, it'll put your smoker out. Now we're going to set this to the side, and Gus is going to show you the way we really light smokers down here. <laughs> okay, so let's just say your smoker, you packed your smoker, 
And you want more banana leaves? I got, I got. So you you packed your smoker, and it went out on you. So as you see, I didn't light anything. I'm just packing it. This is how I, I carry my stuff. I put it in a, a five gallon bucket. I have my banana leaves in there. So we pack it and pack it a little bit more. And you can use your um, hive tool to help push it down. And after it's been lit for a while, he was talking about that gap. You can use your hive tool and push down and your, um, your medium will go down to the bottom and it'll stay lit that way. If you're, if you're seeing a few sparks and you a few sparks and you open it up and it looks fine on top, then you've got a gap and you should pack it down tighter. So nothing's coming out of my smoker. What's the problem? So for this method, you have to have a torch, some type of blow torch. So this one, you have to have a, a spark or a, a flame to light. This one comes with this cool little um, lighter on it. But my luck, th this thing right here, turn it on, and it worked maybe three times. And it doesn't work anymore. So I need a lighter to light that. So we'll put that one to the side. This is the one I have. Um, where's your, where, where, am I, where did the lighter go? Oh, it's right here. I got it. I found it. Okay. So when you light this, just barely crack it. You can hear it kind of come out. And you get it lit and you can turn it up. So what you do with this is you got your smoker. You just put this right here at the bottom, just not at the very bottom because you have your little um, baffle at the bottom. And there's no medium down there or no spuel. So you just put that right there. And you heat it up. And you can do both sides or you can just do one side. Look at that. How did that happen? I don't know. It's magic. Rich showed this at one of the um, workshops. And I was like, that is the coolest thing in the world. I can't believe nobody's teaching this and nobody's made a video of this. And that's what I said. I want to make this video. And here we are. Rich asked me to be part of this. And I am so stoked on that. So I can do the other side too. Now, sometimes it lights and it goes really good. Sometimes you got to relight it a couple times. But... This is a whole lot easier than trying to pull all your medium out because you've already packed your smoker. And it's a cool smoke and it works just like that. So that you have to have a torch. Um, to do it this way so and like i said this was rich's rich taught me this and this is the way i like my smoker every time because it's what happened over here oh it's coming back it's coming back. it's coming back but if it wasn't coming back here, here's here's one that actually works yeah, that one his works <laughs> i don't know i have the worst luck with those Yeah, I barely even had to get it rid. I just needed to get a little bit of extra heat in there to ignite the oils. And here recently, I come across the creme brulee lighter. Now look how quickly that's getting a red spot in there. That's amazing. And this has the advantage of if you lock it 
right? So you can't accidentally burn yourself. You can put this in the jacket or in the pocket of your bee jacket. And if you're having an issue with it out there, you can just reach into your pocket, grab it out, and go from there. A lot easier than throwing it. Ouch. A lot easier than throwing this in your pocket. <laughs> Lightweight, highly portable. Lightweight, highly portable. I mean, it's got like three different coils in there that all complement each other to uh, make a very hot, point, pinpoint accurate flame. So pretty cool technology there. It doesn't cost any more than this. And we didn't mention uh, terry cloth. This is terry cloth that you can buy online from bee supply companies. They're uh, off takes from a terry cloth manufacturing company in Virginia. They're undyed, unbleached, all natural. You know, there's nothing in them. But, you know, old, there comes a point when a towel gets to be too ratty for even a dog towel, at which point you can just chop it up and use it for terry cloth as well. Terry cloth is one of the best, longest lasting smoker fuels because once lit, it doesn't go out. It can provide its own oxygen. So uh, once you have this smoldering, you don't have to worry about it. So now we move on to, he wants to set down his smoker. If you're working on a plastic table or you're working in the bed of your truck that has a plastic liner, you want to use something like a, mar a marble slab or something that it's not going to burn through, or this is how I do mine. So I have a galvanized bucket. You have this little hook on your smoker, and it sits right in there. Doesn't touch the bottom. So that sits about this high off the bottom. It's yeah, it's yeah, and so all around it is cool. You have you have the ribs here that help cool it, but you you hang it right there, and. This is my to-go bucket. I can grab it. I'm not going to burn anything. I'm not going to burn. Um, uh, it's not going to burn through the plastic. It's it, it's it's an insulated container that you can take wherever you're going. You want to put your. So this is what I made as a um, plug for my smoker. I saw Rich had this his cool little um, wooden dowel one. And I didn't have that. I had a bolt at my house. So he has those, which are amazing. And he just gifted me one, which is so cool. But um, so I had these bolts. I Gorilla glued a, um, a washer on it. Before I did that, I drilled a hole through it, and I just put a piece of wire on it. So I can hang that. I usually hang it on my um, B box, my, my work box. But I, I don't have that today. So, But you put that in. And that helps snuff out your smoker until you need it again or yeah oh i also painted it orange because um the first one i made i didn't paint orange and i can't find it <laughs> it's somewhere out there so um i put orange orange so it's more visible so that's where we are on that guy yeah one more thing real quick uh, if you like, as I do, to use punk wood sometimes, I always just light my punk wood ahead of time. Before I throw it in, get the edges going. Because it's amazing how well this stays lit in the smoker, particularly if you're puffing from time to time. It'll just smolder forever and ever there. <laughs> uh, transport. So, in my case, you can pay like $60 or whatever at a beak place for one of something like this. Keep your eye open. This was just a box I picked up for three bucks at, I mind you, I'm not going to even put the thing out. But just drop it in there. Boop. I don't have to put it out because it's going to snuff out on its own inside there. Nice heavy duty metal box. Not going to go anywhere with that. A uh, somewhat larger metal can. 
with a lid is a good option. Of course, this one's being used for fuel storage, but uh, you go to a good hardware store, you'll find all different sizes of this. You just find one that's big enough to fit your smoker. And that's a good, safe way to carry. Very inexpensive. And, you know, while you're where you're at, if you need to fill it with water so that you can wash your hands, well, it has more than one use. <laughs> Let's see if we're still smoking. Hope so. Let's see if we can bring this back to life. It's, uh, it's close. Yeah, looks like we're going to bring it back to life. So at any rate, uh, smokers, you got to have them. Uh, you love them. But uh, it's frustrating when they go out on you. So here's some good ways to keep them going out on you. And if they do go out on you, here's a quick and easy way to get everything up and running again. Just have your propane torch handy or your little cigar lighter or creme brulee torch that you can just put in your pocket. This is just obsolete technology in my opinion at this point. <laughs> but you need one. You, you always, always, have, always one. have one for as a backup. Yeah. Always. So there you go. This is our version of a beef smoker. Thanks, Gus, so much for being here and Thank demonstrating. Thank you for having me. Thank you. This has been awesome. This is cool. <laughs> is Rich Beekeeping with South Florida Beekeeping with Rich? Like and subscribe. Have a great day, everybody.